I was thinking about specializing in oncology. I've always wanted to be a lawyer. I like to argue with people, and I think I'd be good at it. <laughs> Working for an NGO or some kind of social justice institution. Work for two years, then go to business school. Professor of South Asian Religions? Maybe. <laughs> Everyone asked me, what do you want to be when you grow up? I'd look up into the air, my parents were so embarrassed every time I did this. I would say, um, I either want to be a paleontologist, a cetacean biologist, or an archaeologist, but I can't decide. Losing the middle class dream. The idea is set up. What religious experiences entail. The thrill of education and sharing knowledge is just palpable here it's like, it's like an for everyone, and it's wonderful. The dioxide was a natural byproduct. The small class sizes, you really get to know the professor and the other students, and you get a chance to talk and be really engaged. It's everything that a small liberal arts school should be. They're great students. We really get to know about their lives. We get to know their aspirations. We're challenged to think beyond the class, to go beyond the comfort zone perhaps direct the class discussion in that direction. Self-interest could be in line with justice and five different things. An important part of Wesleyan is that we try to make sure that the students feel really connected to their own intellectual development. This is called impulse over here. Within the next year after I'm finished with organic chemistry, I can research either over the summer or during the school year next year. This is a place where good teaching quality mentoring is honored deeply. We have students from Illinois Wesleyan who go to professional conferences and share their research with professional colleagues in the field. You just heard Ashanti with Foolish and up next is some Radiohead so stay tuned. When I first got here I wasn't really sure if I really even still wanted to come to college and then um, I got here and I got more into it and I got involved in the religion department got to know the professors who are just wonderful. Nancy Sultan. Dr. James House. Professor Greg Shaw. You are here because you want to make a difference in the lives of these young students and help them discover their own professions, their own passions. <laughs> Students that really love their time at Illinois Wesleyan they want to be that main character in that story of their education, and they want to get the most out of that really formative four-year college experience. They're immediately engaged. They're involved both inside the classroom and outside the classroom. It's a life-changing event for that student in a very, very positive way. Even though this is a small school, they really try and help you set up with um, some amazing opportunities. I want to get back to the America I know that you believe in. What have I you been it. doing? I'm going to Egypt in December, so I'm like trying On to... On December 30th, I leave until the end of March, and I'm going to actually get to experience what field archaeology is like. Close contact and small community is not all of your college education. You also need to do something unusual, something that is going to perhaps open new windows or new doors for you. It's incredible. I'm thrilled. I'm so excited. <laughs> my spring semester of my junior year, I studied abroad in Dublin, and I did a parliamentary internship. The Global Medical Brigades is a brand new club. We are going to be going down to Honduras, and we're going to be giving medical care to a few hundred people each day. Our students want to make a difference, and I think that that's what's so appealing to this institution, that they, they sense that they can. Let's watch this. Oh, so oh, I love this. That's Titanic. It's like the best part. I walked into this Kappa house, and I saw the girls, and my nerdy little awkward freshman self went, oh, okay, I could do this. It is my home away from home. Everyone is amazing and accomplished, and I dearly love being here. I'll be sad to see it go when I graduate. 
You know, not everybody can afford a 40 or a $50,000 education. Uh, there are very few that can do so without some type of assistance. Without the scholarship, I would not have been able to come yet. The scholarship definitely meant college or no college. There just wasn't money growing up, and so. I had some financial problems, but if not for the fact that the school worked with me, I would probably have had to be sent back home. You called me like twice, but I didn't pick up. I think the debate ends at like 9.30 or something. So see you then? Yeah, see ya. Yeah. I'm friends with like a really wide range of people from cheerleaders and football players to people in the theater department, people who are math geeks and like everything. It always comes back to people. Cub was mentioned on The Daily Show last night. <laughs> It comes back to a faculty member or a staff or a classmate who made a difference at a particular point in time. How are you doing? I'm good. Good to see you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it really is just a quiet sense of pride and camaraderie that I feel every second that I'm at Wesleyan. It's a brilliant institution and it has been amazing for a very long time. And its traditions are something that every person here, alumni, faculty, staff, students, appreciate and love as a part of themselves. It's excellent in every single way you can possibly think of excellence.